Phil the Rue back again. We are going to continue on our series to help you be a better grappler and BJJ practitioner. Today, I'm going to be talking about takedown defense. Now, I'm going to give you some exercises that you can utilize to help you increase your takedown defense. Now, like I always say, you have to make sure that you're training your sport. So make sure you're getting your drilling, you're getting all of these uh, aspects of the game on the mats first and foremost, and then use these exercises to complement those skills practices. Now, for the focus points, we wanna make sure that we're working on the muscles of the posterior chain, right? From the upper back all the way down to the hamstrings. We also wanna work on anti-rotation. We wanna work on the muscles of the rotational uh, transverse plane, oblique, serratus anterior. Those are going to help with, you know, increasing our stability and overall um, movement quality on the mats. Again, we also want to work on the balance and overall stability of your movement, right? When you're getting stuck in a certain situation, if they get a hold of a leg, get a little hold of your hips, you need to make sure that you have stability and overall balance to make sure that you do not get taken down. Okay, so for the exercises, we're going to do a banded kettlebell swing, right? We're using the kettlebell. We're also using the band to give you accommodated resistance. So you have to produce force throughout the entire motion and there is no slowing down. So we do not have to decelerate. We can explode our hips all the way through. This is supposed to be developed for hip strength to stop the shot when they come in to penetrate. Kettlebell pull through is another anti-rotational uh, exercise to help with rotational muscles. Like I said, with the turning, if you do get an underhook or over under, you want to make sure that you have the strength to turn and rotate the opponent if that need be. Okay. Also, we're going to be doing a single leg re uh, rear foot elevated split squat. That's more for single leg defense. If you get stuck in a single leg, you need to make sure you have strength in the lower limbs, in the feet and the overall stability in the hips and the glutes to make sure that you're strong with only one leg. All right, let's do these exercises. All right, so banded kettlebell swing. We're gonna take a band, we're gonna wrap it around. You can use a heavy band, a micro, a micro mini band, something that's going to give you some resistance at the top part of the movement. Take a kettlebell, get a shoulder width stance. All right from there, you're gonna swing through. Hips, drive through. Okay, do about three to four sets, about six to eight repetitions. On to the next. Okay, so for the kettlebell pull through, we're gonna get in a push up position, all right? The kettlebell is going to be right outside the shoulder. From here, you're gonna get in that push up position. Legs are fairly out wide, right? About 24 inches apart. From there, you're gonna go through, pull the kettlebell through, right outside shoulder, and then pull back. Again, pull back. Making sure that, that we're not twisting at the hip, core is tight. Pulling through with good force, maintaining a neutral spine. Okay, you wanna do about three to four sets there. Three to four repetitions each side. On to the next one. All right, so now we're gonna go into the rear foot elevated split squat. Uh, you could take a kettlebell, you could take a dumbbell, you could put it in a front rack position or you could put it unilateral on the other side. However you wanna load it, you can switch up the loading parameters. Just make sure that you're increasing force throughout the ground with that down leg and you're making sure you're maintaining a neutral spine and a brace core. So I'm going to take a kettlebell that's going to go here, right? Get my foot up, make sure I got a good brace, grabbing the ground with my toes, keeping three points of contact, my big toe, little toe and heel. I'm going to screw my feet in so I can activate my hips and torque my hip through, down all the way, then drive up, boom. Brace my core, drive. Okay, you wanna do about three to four sets there. You can do about eight to 12 repetitions for this. All right, and you can maximally load it. So this could be for max effort or for overall volume. All right guys, so I hope you like these exercises. Let me know. Also, again, if you didn't do so, I have Ground Control, a 12 week BJJ program in the link in the description. So you can check that out. Also again, if you like this video, you know what to do, hit the like button and let me know whatever questions you have in the comments. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. If you've ever wanted to train BJJ or you're interested in following the exact training program of world-class BJJ practitioners, 
check this out. My name is Phil Deru. I'm the head strength and conditioning coach of American Top Team. I've been working with Dustin Poirier, Junior Dos Santos, Edson Barbosa, Frankie Edgar, Jazari Matuda, Antonio Carl De Sapato, and many others. I've created the online training program, Ground Control. This will take any BJJ practitioner to the next level to be able to dominate their opponents on the mats. Whether you're just starting out or you're a high level black belt, this program will give you the edge over your opponents. Remember, private lessons can get pretty expensive for me. So if you want to learn how to train at an affordable and one-time price, go check out Ground Control in the link in the description.